many areas we found out that the cooperation brought us to much better results. And uh, with the artificial intelligence, you've got different level of expertise on evolution uh, based on the legislation framework, but also where the main universities are, where the Silicon Valley is seated. So you won't probably replicate the Silicon Valley in each country, but Europe has also the good capacities. Innovation in the field of emerging technology means to me that we probably at some point have to reinvent cooperation. We see different fields, we see how innovative the world is, specifically us, the human beings, are extremely innovative. And that's of utmost importance, specifically for the different industrial revolutions. We are in the midst of probably the fourth, maybe already the fifth industrial revolution right now, with artificial intelligence, with robotics, and so on. It used to be, up until very recently, that a lot of innovation, most of innovation, came actually out of government and often out of defense structures. That has now kind of reversed, and 80% of innovation on emerging and disruptive technologies is from the private sector. So already, the circle has to widen for us from government to include very much a strong relationship with industry. Then I would add that there are some fundamental ethical questions and principles of responsible use for these emerging technologies, which means we have to engage with the public. And then, of course, we need to look downfield deep tech, long-term innovation, and that means academia. It is important that the rules we develop are global, that they apply to many stakeholders. They apply to governments, but they should also apply to industry. Uh, people should feel concerned. Uh, and the issues we're dealing with are global issues. Artificial intelligence, the use of it, the deployment of AI systems, is hardly ever limited to a single jurisdiction or even a single continent. We need to work together as government, academia, civil society, businesses, citizens all together to create the frameworks and the policies to be able to have technology that's incredibly responsible, that protects human rights, that promotes innovation, and that accelerates growth. been a, a bit of a happy accident of history in the AI space that um, much of the innovation that's taken place over the past uh, 10 years or so uh, has taken place in, op has, has led to open source, uh, open models uh, um, and uh, open innovation, which has enabled many people to build on top of existing innovation. Well, technology is a fast moving target these days and technology is evolving very, very rapidly. I think all of us, different stakeholders, you know, society, government, corporations are struggling to keep up with the pace of technology. To understand the implication of technology in society, on business, on the world around us, we need this multiple perspective. So you need to be able to get different stakeholders to collaborate with you and to be able to come up with, you know, at least a common basis for action, for exploration and for judgment. We believe very much in our country, in uh, digitalize whatever we do. Because we think this is the future. This will make our economy much more productive and this will give us the opportunity uh, to attract a lot of people back to the country that left during the crisis, and maybe even more. The EU coordinated plan aims to boost innovation in AI, and the EU uh, AI Act aims to mitigate risks caused by these AI systems. So it's, it's, really, it's, it's, not just, it's not just mitigating risks, it's really benefiting from opportunities while uh, making sure that human rights and, uh, and, and uh, consumer uh, individual rights are respected. It's very important for the governments to work with all stakeholders, NGOs, private sector, academia, just because you need to think out of the box and the role of the executive uh, politicians and the legislation is to prepare legislation that finally somehow regulates the, the real life. And if you don't have the experience, you are just making something that when it hits the ground, it just doesn't work. We need 20 million ICT specialists by 2040. Um, at the rate we're going on training, we're not gonna get there. And so we've made a commitment as AWS to actually train 29 million people for free by 2025. And I really mean for free. We're investing hundreds of millions of dollars to make this possible. Digital technology is not just a matter of one state and one nation. It, it cannot work like that. It's, it's a matter of 
society of nations, of a broader region. So uh, we want uh, stake, international stakeholders to be participating. I think policymakers have an important role to play in ensuring that uh, that continued open source, open innovation in the AI arena. But I think we shouldn't look at them in silo. We really have to work together, we have to cooperate. And this word cooperation needs to be the key in all these different emergent technologies.